heard the chosen ones got people out here wishing they never would have put their mouth on you. <laughs> when I tell you these people out here begging for their life because they done talked stuff about you. All of the things that you have been accomplishing and doing so much better in, they're not liking it. They're manipulating situations, trying to make people think that you're the bad guy, but we already know. The chosen ones just got it going on like that. Y'all got people out here wishing and praying that they would have never, ever thought wrongfully about you. When I tell you, they're actually begging for forgiveness for just the thought of not liking you. Do you hear me? There's so much that has happened to the people who have come against the chosen ones. And you know exactly who came against you, baby. You know who I'm talking about. And you know who you are if you came against a chosen one, baby. You already know what it is. But they are doing so much worse since they began to put their mouths on you. When I tell you they gathered together in groups, it took a group of them to come against you, baby. Do you hear me? And they still did not come against you. <laughs> they still did not come against you because see everything that happened in your life that was maybe something that was circumstantial was God's will <laughs> in your life it had nothing to do with anything they were doing do you hear me see we all got to go through trials I don't care who you are I don't, I don't care who's connected to who if this person ain't never been connected to the most high God and they connect to something else they still don't went through some things so the little things you don't went through because see it's little when it comes to the chosen ones because we're able to get through it all. God, the most high begins to help us through everything. Y'all know we got a team of people in the spiritual real working for us, baby. Do you hear me? Blessing our game and protecting us and helping us to get through all of the things that we done ever went through. See, that's just that everybody goes through that. So all of the things that they seen you going through, they thought it was what they did. So now that they're going through the exact same thing that you went through. They're looking at it almost as if it was their fault. They're starting to think it's 555, five, five, y'all. They're thinking that it was their fault. They're starting to play the blame game. They're blaming themselves. They're guilty as charged, okay? They ain't even been charged for it, though. I ain't gonna lie. They just really charging themselves up, you know what I'm saying? Because of what the things, the things that they said with your family members, the things they said with your coworkers about you, yeah, all the people that they spoke to against you, about you, all of those things are starting to get piled up in their mind because you really, it almost feels like you are the main character in this person's life. Like all that's all they think about. Like, I hope I can get ahead before the chosen ones do. I hope I can do better than what they doing. I'm trying to outdo them. It was almost as if they were in a secret competition with you, but you wouldn't even compete in, baby. <laughs> there's no competition when it comes to the chosen ones honey because the chosen ones eat down eat down okay most of us we don't even be knowing that people be having a certain agenda against us we don't even be knowing we just be living our best life just like i told y'all the other day i said you know the chosen ones have a light about them we got a light about us type in the comments i got a light about me i got a light about me baby it's something about that light that causes people to think that you're trying to outshine them. But you just have a natural light of the presence of the Most High. It's just a natural light. It's a natural glow, okay? And most of them think that you're trying to outshine them. When you step into something, if there's something that you guys are going after at the workplace, you're trying to get the promotion, all you do is show up and you do what you got to do. You ain't even got to try so hard. But these people have went hand to and nail, if I said that right, trying to come against you, trying to outdo you. It took them hard work, baby. When I tell you it took hard work to come against you, boo. <laughs> but you just step in there and you do what you do. And you're commended for, for what you do. For them, it's like they're looking for someone to, to say, oh my God, you're doing such a good job. It's, they got to have some type of validation. You, on the other hand, as a chosen one, ain't got to have that. You already know who you are. You already know who you are. And that's the blessed part about it. You already know who you are, boo. Okay. But listen, there were some people you were dealing with, even in your family. Dealing with them, you may have thought like, what is, what is it about them that they don't like about me. But what is it? Am I doing something? Because some of us, we do tend to get in our heads to think like, maybe it's me. Okay. Maybe it was something that, no, it wasn't anything that you did, honey. You just showed up. 
You, you was just born. Because see, when you're born a star, you're born a chosen one. And it's like I said, you're born to be a child of the most high. He already had it planned before your mama had your baby. Okay. He already had it planned. So when you, you all you did was showed up. And God, it took God to show out, okay, in you. And you ain't even have to really do much. You just came to, and you you know how they say we're human beings. You're just be, you just came to be. Type in the comments, I came to be. <laughs> See, when you came to be, you showed up, you showed out. When I, say, when I tell you, you showed the ill out, baby. You showed up and you showed out. And that's what they don't like. And many of you have dealt with this. And they know that most of the things that they said, did, or thought about doing it's part of they feel like it's part of the karma that they're going through it's a lot of the karma that they just simply just didn't like you you know they didn't understand that you had a different assignment than anyone else in your family at that job at that church at that establishment in that group they didn't understand that you have something different it's way different from what they're doing don't get me wrong it was it's something good about them too they're great but they're great when they're not trying to compete with you, okay? So your greatness always arrives and it looks as though that you're trying to compete with someone else, but it's just you being you. You just being you. And I love that about you. But I wish that the others would understand that when it comes to the chosen ones, we have to do what the Lord wants us to do. We have to move accordingly. And we don't even have to try. That's the thing though. We just pray about it and we get the moving and we get the stepping and God just show up in front of us. You know what I'm saying? He steps before we go. He go, you know what I'm saying? Everywhere we go, he going to go before us <laughs> and he going to clear the way. Okay. And he going to make a way out of no way. Cause he always doing that for us. He makes a way out of no way. And I just love that. I love that. <laughs> Many of those individuals that we're speaking about, they have faced a lot of challenges. They've gone through a lot and they're actually looking at you as inspiration now. See, it's like, what is it? It's a plot twist. It's like, first they were competing against you, but now they're inspired by the way that you got through it, baby. You got through it and you was true to it. And now that they see how you got through the things that they tried to put you through, they're inspired by it. They're seeing that, okay, wow, maybe because they're serving the most high God, then maybe I should do it too. And because they're not, these people are, they really starting to realize that you really was never competing with them because you had no reason to. Now that they know this, now that things have shifted and they see that they have to go through what you went through, they understand your assignment. And I love that because now that they understand your assignment, they may or may not try to back off. You know what I'm saying? They may, they gonna have to though. That's what I'm saying. Since they're going through it, they got they they're paying so much attention to what they gotta go through that they can't. They don't have time for you. So many of you guys are gonna see that this whole situation, especially like at the job, you're getting you're getting that promotion with ease. Things at the workplace are gonna be so much smoother now. Things are gonna be much more peaceful because this person is no longer trying to come after you. The things in your family, you won't hear all of that small talk about you, or you won't feel that. That negative energy when it comes to your family because now everything is it seems like it's smoothed out see when people face situations and they realize or they think that what they did to another person has really caused them to go through it they begin to kind of calm down like let me re reflect i feel like this person is starting to reflect on their on the inner them okay they're reflecting and starting to realize so there's gonna be so much more peace in the family as well even in the establishments the church wherever it is that this these people are who have not liked your light okay it's gonna be much more peaceful and people are gonna get along more and i don't know if you're feeling this already but it's, it's definitely taking place in the chosen ones because at this moment the chosen ones have been through enough spirit says you have went through a lot and we need things to be smooth so that you can carry out your purpose you can carry out the things that you're doing for the most high that you're doing a great job and now you don't have to sit here and just be like always on guard or always like dang you know i gotta do why is this happening why is this happening you know most of the time we get that way but we know that who to turn to but now it's like peace see god gives us peace like a river and he also can cause your enemies to be at peace with you. See, this is what's happening. Your enemies are now being at peace with you. And many of the things that they try to do to outdo you 
has been delayed. Those things can no longer, they can't come through, okay? So let's just say if they were trying to get you to not get that position at work, okay? They wanted people in your family to not like you and to mistreat you and treat you, continue to treat you as the black sheep. But all of that has been smoothed out. Type in the comments, smooth selling. I told y'all it's smooth selling over here when it comes to the most like God, okay? Smooth selling. He's making things much more peaceful in your life. It's almost like, I don't know what it is about this person, but I feel like most of you guys ended up walking away from this person. You had to make sure that you were not literally allowing this person in your energy like that because you knew it was something. So it feels like you walked away. You cut this mother off, okay? You cut them off and you had you, you literally cut them off dry. <laughs> so now they're not even able to reflect on you, to feed off of your energy no more by trying to compete with you for one. So that you cut you cutting them off caused things to shift because it almost felt like they were feeding off of the things that you had going on because you were you know you were so eager to get that position you were so eager to make your family proud you were so eager to make them proud of you and or whatever this may be you were you know they knew that but now that you cut them off they don't even know what you're up to they can't even find out no more because like i said they already going through it these people are going through it going through hell and high water for for just thinking about thinking about coming against you, thinking about outshining you. It was just like, most of this was not even called for. It never was called for because this you could have actually helped this person. Most of the time when the chosen ones are out here, we usually like to carry people with us. We, we try to help them and, and give them inspiration and help them and bless them in some type of way. You know, we're not stingy with it. That's, that's the point. Like, we're not stingy with it. But they get it twisted. They get it in their mind as a competition that we're competing, but it's nothing like that. We're simply here to send out love, to help people, to bless them, to heal the sick, to raise the dead, all that good stuff. We came out here to do this. We was built for this. We was, I told you, you was born for this. The chosen ones were born for this, but they simply think that it could be something different, but we're not doing that. It's never a competition when it comes to the chosen ones. We're not competing. We're just being. We're just being who we came here to be. And I love that for us and understand that now that all the things have, the, the tables have turned, the, you know, the plot twist is here. There's peace like a river that's going to be in your life. You have peace surrounding you. So, say, I mean, you know, just kind of bask in the peace that the Most High has given you because you are being given peace so that you can focus more on being instead of always having to be in a spiritual war all the time, constantly. It's peace like a river that he gives you. Your angels, your ancestors, your guides, your guards, all of them are supporting you. They're all proud of you and they're bringing peace and trying to bring peace to all situations. Remember, the Most High, causes your enemies to be at peace with you. And that's what it is, big period. Now I just know y'all don't wanna got my book, The Burning Bridge. Y'all don't wanna got my book right. I got several of them and they ready to be shipped to you today, okay? So make sure you go and get this book. All you gotta do is look in the description bar below or look on the description in the bio, okay? Go over there and get your book today. You're going to love this. This is going to help you to realize that God is still in charge. He is still moving in your life. So many blessings on top of blessings you're going to realize when you read this book because you do not have to suffer alone, okay? I love you. Thank you. Make sure you go and get it. Go ahead and get it. Peace and blessings.